B positive is called the nomad blood type. People with B positive blood group tend to have a sharper mind. A person with B positive blood group can donate blood only to individuals with B positive and AB positive blood groups. B positive patients can receive blood from B positive, B negative, O positive, and O negative donors. It's highly common or prevalent. About 9% of people have B positive blood. Transfusions. It's used to treat people with sickle cell disorder and thalassemia. Ancestry. It is very common in South Asian and black communities. However, other sources identify the origin of blood type B positive around Central Asia and statistics show that actually the highest prevalence of blood type B positive is in countries like China, Korea, and Japan. Moreover, the first suggestion is also true. These seem to span Iranic nations or ethnic locations to them. Other sources suggest the most clearly defined geographic distribution stretches across the Eurasian plains and down to the Indian subcontinent. O and A blood types are completely opposite. But the B blood type takes the best of both the worlds of O and A. Known for nomadic lifestyles, a greater variety of foods would serve as a survival adaptation. While O is a carnivore diet overall, and A being that of vegetables, blood type B positive are dairy consumers, which might suggest origins among pastoralists emerging from the Altaic region. We are balanced with a strong immune system, a tolerant digestive system, and most flexible dietary choices. We enjoy diets from blood type O and A though not all. We also respond extremely well to certain seafoods. These do not refer to crustaceans, such as shrimp, more along the lines of salmon. Blood type B positives, we respond best to stress with creativity and are known to be independent, creative, and strong-willed. They often have a high energy level and love taking risks. As being blood type B myself, news feed algorithm suggested an article confirming blood type B positive may indeed be associated with longevity. As of their places of higher prevalence, this indeed caused me to ponder in East Asiatic stories of villagers who exceed 100 years of age. It's true most follow a very balanced diet, though we also see stories where these advanced age individuals follow lifestyles such as any other, such as consuming fast or junk food, and so on. These are mere cases, as information regarding blood type B positive actually stresses to follow a balanced diet. Diet is also subjective to an individual situation of a particular person. In prior video, we reviewed indigenous American and or Puerto Rican blood types. Blood type B can only receive blood transfusion from respected B positive and O. This is a great indicator of its Central Asiatic origin whom Native Americans of blood type O share with in common, considering the overlapping of archaeogenetics, Afontobagora, and historical Eastern Scythia. In the prior videos, we learned the scientists are suggesting there was a greater blood type variety among Native American nations, who are almost exclusively blood type O. This was not always the case, that at the arrival of Europeans to the Americas, all the Native American populations decreased drastically in numbers to then multiply again. The survivors of this dramatic change in history were mainly blood type O, and it is suspected the blood type O had the greater resilience to European diseases. That being said, the chance of BNA and AB being native is rare, but not unlikely. My research points to a Central Asian origin for blood type B. My uncle also had a blood type B. 
He told me doctors from the army around the early 70s had traced his blood type B to far corners of East Asia towards Siberia. It is noteworthy to add my family also had a high prevalency of people with thalassemia. Though I read it's associated with the blood type B, my family has sources affirming thalassemia is Corsican. My family is blood type O and it's also blood type B. While my grandmother's sister is O, she is B, like her brother, my uncle, who I mentioned earlier. But furthermore, we add they are all higher than 30% ethnically indigenous of Puerto Rican. We can apply blood type math of the ABO blood system. Through my investigation, I wouldn't have to. Therefore, I can tell you right away how a Puerto Rican may carry blood type B positive. Jewish Ashkenazi that come from the ancient Khazarian region. Tajik immigrants who are partially Iranic or Pashtun with a little bit of Turkic. Indirect Hasaras or direct Mongolic Empire. Others are Punjabi, Gujarati, Afghan, and regarding Spain or the Mediterranean, we have the Roma people, otherwise known as the Gypsies. Most of these are from communities that settled in Italy, Spain, Canary Islands, France, Germany, places like Hungary, Bulgaria, Ukraine, and others like the Balkans. Some indigenous Americans may have it, but it's rare. Being blood type B positive myself, I come from this data from its suggestions all the way to the aspects of longevity. As I am always confused 7 to 10 years lower than my actual age and I can still do flips and gymnastics, backflips, parkour, combat sports and a lot of disciplines that would require a youthful body and energy. This tells me this blood type is from nomads, therefore as of their diet, pastoralists. To travel long distances can be considered appropriate the more youthful an individual is. A culture of warriors may have accounted with a short life expectancy. Youth or longevity among blood type B positive can be a circumstantial adaptation. In this case, generations of warfare. Where survivors may look 30, being in their 40s, extending the genetic prime barrier for further combat. Blood type B, the warrior blood type.